Hi guys, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy and today we're talking modular synthesis with the Pittsburgh Modular Synthesizer Lifeform SV1B. I talked about it last week and it should be here. But um, today I'm going to concentrate on this module here, the module that is the only part of the synthesizer that is digital. Everything else is analog and honestly, everything else is nothing to be surprised of. It sounds really cool and nice, but everything else is what it's supposed to be doing in a way. A frequency modulation, a sync, a low pass, an high pass, a bend pass, everything is what we expect. The only part that can be difficult to get, and I, it took me some, you know, you know, reading and understanding how it works to actually use this section. And this section is the MIDI to CV converter. And it's actually a module. Again, think about of all this, the all different modules, and they are packed in the same box, but they could be seen and they can be used as separate modules. So the first one is, a MIDI to CV converter. And that's really interesting. Okay, so let's actually dive in right away and look at what this thing does. Here you have the module for the MIDI. You have a cable that is like this, a MIDI to a CV. So you put the CV into the MIDI here at the bottom here, and then you connect that to your MIDI con uh, controller. I'm actually going to use my uh, BeatStep Pro. Right now, the MIDI is being sent to the MIDI converter here, and this then is converted into pitch. Actually, this is converted into clock, pitch, gate, controller, CV, so uh, MIDI controllers, velocity. LFO has nothing to do with uh, the MIDI in outside of the clock itself. So all of this here uh, are basically converters from what I'm playing on the keys or what I'm sending from a MIDI sequencer. Which is interesting is that by default, what you should have is the pitch here should appear also in the pitch uh, here. Where, where is it? Where is it? Here, pitch here. And it should also be into the pitch here. Okay, so, but if you listen carefully, it's kind of weird. It seems that the second one is not following. Maybe it's because I patched the pulse instead. So I need to go in and say, well, I want to use the pitch out and I want to send it to, I'll send it to. Now it's following when I play the keys. Right now, we're in the mode of monophonic. So there's two different modes here, the monophonic or the arpeggiator. So you press on it once, you switch between mono and arp, you see the little light goes in. So this one now is in arp mode. And if I press my three keys, let's say. It will play in the order of the keys you pressed. So first key. which you're pressing the keys, which is, you know, pretty simple to understand and use. If you want to hold it, there's this button here, hold. You press on it once. Now, I don't use my hands anymore. It works. So I have this holding right now. This is just holding. Okay, so this works. This is just holding. out the ARP, take, uh, actually take out the old and take out the ARP. I'm back in now there's something else here. There's also LFOs. The LFOs are actually digital LFOs that are controlled by the clock source. 
So the clock is, uh, well, MIDI clock or internal. So to change the source, you press on edit and then you press on clock and then you can switch between internal, external, and um, internal MIDI clock, external MIDI clock, and gate input. Okay, so now if I want to use this as the LFO, I'm going to take the LFO output here. I'm going to send it to, let's say, I don't know, um, the width of this sound here. If I have this. Okay. You hear this? You hear the volume? If I want to change the speed, which is actually following an external one, probably. I get this tempo. If I press slowly, okay. So the speed goes with the clock I'm typing in, or I go into edit and to different the, uh, different uh, clock source, and then I've got the LFO wave. If I press the key. different shapes. You've got the LFO shape, the clock source, the hold or the bend. You also have the mode, you have the glide, LFOs, two LFOs, basically the same one being assigned to different places. Velocity, gate, pitch, and CV or modulation. These are actually converted from the MIDI information. And you have clock source, it can be in or out. So the MIDI can convert into clock out or clock Come, can, can come in and control the LFO speed. And that will be one of the sources you could select, which is the clock source. So that's it. That's what the MIDI to CD converter from the SV-1B does. So use it correctly. <laughs> that's it. I hope you like what I'm doing. Thumb up, share it with your friends. And again, don't forget to go see my other online presences on YouTube, of course, Facebook, Instagram. There's my newtricks.com website. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one consultation, it's also possible. Just go in there and click and pick a date and we can actually chat and I can explain what to do. And I'm um, interested in maybe doing some live event in the weekend, but I want to do live with people uh, interacting and, and asking questions. So I have a Zoom account. We can do a live stream. You ask question, I do a Zoom. I don't know. If there's people asking for that, I can do this. So uh, that's it. I hope you guys are having fun. Stay safe. In Montreal, we're in the we're a second wave of the COVID-19. So we're staying home most of the time. I go work, but uh, it's like work, home, and work, and home, and shh, getting the food and back home. So that's basically it. So I'm going to do videos for you guys and that's it and make some music. So stay safe and make more music. Cheers guys.